and today guys we have a super cool super awesome bee farm that's right honeycombs honey bottles automatic mcpe bedrock all versions for the win hey there guys skippy here for room skippy six gaming guys coming to you with a super cool super awesome uh, tutorial world love we are doing an automatic bee farm that's right an automatic bee farm super super duper cool guys for this one here let's go for however many likes it says on the screen we're gonna go for that much if you are one of those dudes don't forget to hit me up below guys follow me on twitter for all of the latest news updates let's plays and stuff and that will tell you how it goes so uh yeah a crazy cool awesome bee farm you're gonna notice there's empty bottles in here i'll explain i'll explain but honeycombs bee bottles and such guys big shout outs to booty messiah yes that's right that's the name of his channel he is the booty messiah guys this is a build that he made i saw it very simple kind of industrial compared to some other ones that you see he did a great job guys big shout out to him link to his channel in the description below and uh, yeah so let's tell you how to make this build i'm going to tell you how to do it it's very simple you might have seen me tell you about this video yesterday uh, but when I put it out it had no voice track on it because when I do it I separate my voice and the game sound so that way I can edit it differently and yeah so I didn't want to put it out the same day because that always really ruins the video I want to do it now so yep this is the return of this video let's tell you what you need guys uh, for this build you are gonna need one minecart with hopper 24 slabs uh, one chest one hopper 16 grass uh 16 blocks of choice two powered rails 18 regular rails 60 glass one lever eight redstone dust four observers four dispensers four hives uh 16 flowers at least some shears and some honey bottles depending on how you want to do it so that said Booty Messiah says that you could just put honey bottles in. So basically, the ones that give you honeycombs have shears in it, right? So basically, those are right. And you can see I added these four stairs after so that you can access all of your dispensers. So you might want to make that as a little change. Unfortunately, because of the way the farm works, sometimes it ends up shooting out empty bottles. And when it does, that still gives you, it still gives you honey bottles. It just doesn't give them to you as fast as it gives you these empties. That's kind of where this thing came into play because if you have it this way, you can literally just put the empty bottles back it's easy as that put these empty bottles back in this joint and yeah so you'll still get honey bottles you're just gonna have to deal with a few extra empty bottles coming through that said there you can see a regular bottle and a honey bottle dropped at the same time so yeah so let's do this let's get this guy going and let's get this show on the road so uh, I'm going to let's let's just do this let's build it back here a bit I always delete the second one anyway so let's make it right here uh, let's get rid of these guys and go so we're gonna start with this build with uh, yeah one two three four five six seven eight that's right let's go here i'm going to turn this off i don't want this to make any more noise we want it to stop so it can stop right there so once we have our four so too big we got four by two right let's do this starts with dispensers facing forward like this like this like this like this then we're going to grab our hives hive the hive right here Four hives, one, two, three, four. Go ahead and grab your observers. These observers are gonna face up, one, two, three, four. Once we do this, we're gonna put solid blocks next to them, one, two, three, four. Easy enough, grab your dirt. You need the dirt and the grass. Let's go like this. Uh, let's go like this and uh, yeah, wrap it around here. We're gonna make this one, it's pretty easy, 16 blocks total. Once we do these 16 blocks, we're gonna go ahead and take this one step further with our flowers. Let's go ahead and take our flowers, put our flowers around there and feel good about it because most of the fun is happening. Look, there's bees all over my world since this fiasco. Since this fiasco, this guy here, this guy here, and uh, all the way around. So let's grab our solid blocks. We're gonna want our solid blocks one under here, so uh, yeah. Bring it down, bring it down, and there. So, see this track? We got this guy going. I switched his track. He tracked the whole thing. I haven't lost a single block by not doing it. So, yeah, the track is diff a little different. I didn't do the middle. It's. I feel like it's unnecessary. Uh, like I said, there's no blocks inside blocks, and the only way you need to pick up in these blocks is if something was in there, which it isn't. So, uh, yeah, it basically saves you, I don't know, like a half dozen tracks or something, yeah. Put the, there like this, and then uh, let's go over here and start getting ready. So what we're gonna wanna do is, 
bring this guy here, bring this guy here, and get rid of this, put our chest right here, get rid of this guy, put some holder blocks for us right here, and uh, yeah, go ahead and crouch place your hopper down into this guy, might as well crouch place a regular rail on top of him too, while you're here, let's go ahead and get rid of this guy, and uh, yeah, wrap it all the way around, except for this one right here, go ahead and uh, throw a powered rail there instead, powered rail, done. Go all the way around, bring it around like a jabroni. And uh, yeah, this guy here, 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 this guy here. So you wanna put a powered car powered hopper minecart there, but we're not gonna put it till the end because it's loud and annoying and we don't want any of that. So go ahead and grab your grass, grab your glass, go ahead and grab your slabs, go ahead and grab your stairs, and let's start this. So wrap it in glass. Actually, you know what, before we do that, let's go ahead and put our dust. Dust, 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 dust. Let's go ahead and wrap it in glass. So what you want is one higher than this. So your roof is gonna be here. Your walls are gonna be here. So three high. Three high with a roof. Once we're done this, we're gonna add the stairs, but just do that right now and we'll, we'll time lapse it. Okay, so now that that's done, guys, let's go ahead and throw these stairs in. These stairs are actually a little handy because you're going to want to get in here and put your shears in and things like that. So go ahead and put upside down stair. That way, see, you can reach in and do it. Do it on all sides so you can reach all the hoppers or all the droppers or all the dispensers. Wow, three third times a charm right here, right here, and right here. So let's go ahead and throw, uh, let's go ahead and throw shears in all of these ones except for one and then i think we'll put some bottles but i'm just going to steal them out of the other build because it takes too long so uh let's do this guy here and shears doesn't go through shears that fast make sure you don't use flint and steel because if you use flint and steel you're going to be in for a surprise uh, yeah not in for a big surprise but i will tell you that uh, i did that by accident and uh, it didn't work too good for me i hope this is the right side no nope. We're going to go on the front side here. And yeah, I was wondering why it didn't work. And then when I went to take it apart, I was like, oh, look, everything's setting on fire now. So make sure that you fill these up. I would suggest filling these up uh, because if you don't, honey bottles will go in there. So yeah, that's going to be a better way to do it is I guess I used the wrong trick. So there you go. Make sure you fill them up. I would fill them up with bottles and then most of the stuff will go in. Let's go ahead and grab our hopper minecart. But last but not least, we're going to put the bees in there. So we want between 12 and 24 bees. That's right, 12 and 24. What I mostly recommend to you is to silk touch a beehive and bring it in here. That's the fast way that you could do this if you silk touch a beehive. However, you could just leash them up. This is a thing. You could just leash them up and bring them in, 12 and 24. Honestly, I feel closer to 12 is actually better. I feel like if there's too many, one, two, three, four, five, they always run out. That's how come you'll see that, that there's some here. Let's go like that. That's enough bees. Bang. Perfect. There you go. Bingo, bongo, bongo. Grab yourself. Minecart with hopper. And you're going to see. So basically what's going to happen here is. Let's get rid of this. Is It's going to take a little bit to start cooking up. Uh, bang. Because those, those need to get full first. Before they start getting sheared. So you're going to notice at the beginning. You'll likely start getting a few empty bottles from that other. Uh, from the other thing, but you actually won't get any empty bottles until anything updates, which is going to take a little while of these bees flying around. And as you can see from checking out these other ones here, you can see we got honeycombs hanging around, all of that stuff all the way there. That's because it's off, right? So we're going to go ahead and turn this guy back on and let him sit there. I'm not going to keep these two anyway. I think this is the farm that I'm going to keep. You're going to see we do have extra bottles. It's a thing, of course, uh, 32. But like I said, take the bottles, just take them and then throw them into this guy here. And I don't know. I feel like it's doable. We're all out of bottles, so feel good about it anyway. And uh, yeah, we can take this guy and pop and do it and there you go guys don't forget to smash that like if you love automatic bee farms i am not going to be able to let all of these bees out into the world here i'm going to have to do a slash kill and when i do slash kill i'm going to kill that villager all the mine carts and everything so i'm not sure how i'm going to do it i feel like i'm going to kill them with lava this is going to turn into uh it's going to turn into a fiasco if you guys know what a fiasco is uh yeah i think that's that's what i'm going to have to do because yeah like i said i don't want to 
yeah so i think i'm gonna do that actually awesome because i've been using the slash kill command so much and again i'm gonna say this for the last time not the last time but i'm gonna ask people for help guys everybody's been telling me what to do to get these wandering traders to stop spawning in the world what i can tell you is i've been using this command and it won't work it says this error i've used a different one as well which uh was mob event wandering trader event false uh either way if the person is that successfully puts it in the comments the exact command i need to make wandering traders not spawn all over my world will get a shout out in a video when i do it so Guys, don't forget to smash that like before you go. Don't forget as a well to subscribe to Skippy Stasis channel for tons of tutorials, let's plays, and stuff. Thanks a lot for tuning in, and I'll catch you on the next one.